Hello, this is a quick battery testing video. I needed a new battery for LG Nexus 4 phone, so I bought one on eBay from China for 750 delivered. And now I want to test how good it is in terms of the capacity, how close the capacity is to the promised one. Of course it's going to be a limited test, I cannot test long-term stability, uh, in other words um, after uh, what time and how many cycles the battery will degrade, but let's do what we can. The battery came with this set of tools. Here is a closer look and uh, here I read typical capacity is 2100 milliamp hours and minimum 2030 milliamp hours. Unfortunately I don't have full specifications. Typically uh, such batteries should be charged to 4.2 volts but sometimes the chemistry varies slightly. And there is something here about 4.35 volts, but only in this section in Chinese, so I don't really know what it is. Is it the nominal uh, charging voltage or is it absolute maximum uh, allowed or something like that? I don't know. I found this description in a different eBay listing and uh, they translated from Chinese I suppose. So looks like this is charging voltage limit but it's still not quite clear is it uh, absolute maximum or just the normal charging voltage. I am a bit reluctant to go this high. Uh, so let's set it at 4.3. I don't quite like this irregular shape of the battery near the top, this bulge. I wonder if it's gonna fit into the phone with no problems. And I need a way to hook it up to my test equipment. It has this connector with very small contacts. What I think I can do is use a couple of wires like this. I hope you can see I flattened the end a little bit so it just fits tightly into these contacts. Let me try. Yeah, like so. I am not going to go through all the details of my setup and charging and discharging process. I explained that several times in my previous videos. I will put links to them in the description. Uh, if you are interested, check them out. Let's charge it first. I hooked it up to this precision uh, lab supply. I set the target voltage to 4.3 volts and current to 200 milliamps, which is about 0.1C. Let's go super easy on this battery. And uh, let's start the charging. Many hours later the charging current dropped to almost nothing, so we can assume that the battery is fully charged. It's time for discharge. Hooked up to the electronic load, it's configured for 200 milliamps discharge and I set the uh, cutoff voltage at 3 volts. 
Let's go. Here is my data logging. And here is the result. At point 1C the battery should last 10 hours. And it didn't last even 5 hours. Complete fail. I will run another cycle. This time I'm going to charge to 4.35 volts. Here is the result of the second discharge. It is almost identical, even slightly less than the first one. And um, 200 milliamps times 5 hours is 1000 milliamp hours. And the battery is even slightly less than that. Which is less than a half of rated capacity. And this is a complete fail. I contacted the seller and the seller quickly responded asking me if I wanted a new battery or my money back. To which I replied that if they are sure that typical capacity of the batteries is 2100 milliamp hours and the battery I received is an exception, a defective battery, in that case I want a new battery. And on the other hand, if they think all of their batteries are the same, then I want my money back. The seller didn't even respond to that, just refunded my money. So, the real problem now is where do I get a good battery and how much it will cost me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.